I became a PCA because it's something that I love to do. I love to care for people and help them recover and feel better. My typical day, I start up in the morning, we come in, we get report, we do shift report, and then we start, you know, get doing vital signs and getting the patients ready to start therapy. What you can expect when you become a PCA, you have to have a caring heart. You have to have a spirit of connection with the patients. Mundane as it sounds, I did have a, uh, a PCA who helped to uh, clean me up. I got, I mean, save me, cut my hair. It hadn't been cut in months and clean me up. And it just made me feel better, look better. And she did it with just smiling and laughing and, and, and just, just a, a heart-giving experience and a wonderful emotional experience. I get pretty attached to my patients, so I pretty, you know, I get kind of sad about it, you know, so it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to see you go, but you have to go. Oh, wow, it's excitement to see them able to move on their own walk either walking or just really see them gain their mobility and moving about and returning to their communities. Memorial is always like helpful when it comes to opportunities. So we have a new program called the Clinical Ladder for PCAs and we use that for op new opportunities for everyone to grow and be able to you know enhance our bedside skills. I just got an email like the other day it was telling me about how I can do like a transition it was like a scholarship type of thing and they were able to you know be able to put in like you know help to you know make me go to the next level that I want to get to. Because here we really focus on teamwork, respect for one another and treating each other with dignity and if you come and join our team I promise you, you will be happy here. It's, it's, it's a blessing. It's truly a blessing to do what I do.